This little workout is going to help relieve shoulder pain, upper body pain, and increase the range of motion of your shoulders. So now we're going to get started just by gently moving your shoulders around. So shift your weight side to side. And as you shift your weight, lift one shoulder up and pull it back. Lift that shoulder up and pull it down. So as you lift it up, imagine that you're pulling those shoulders forward. Try to touch your ear and then try to slip your shoulder blades into a back pocket. So you get nice circle around up with that shoulder and then slip the shoulder blade into a back pocket. Deep breathe with this with all these exercises, deep breathe, and do them in a relaxed mode. A lot of people who are in the fitness and the sports industry and who like to exercise work too hard. And the body is not designed for us to force it. The, when you force your body, your body fights back and it's counter-effective. So now we're gonna just drop down. You're just gonna relax your head, move your neck and sway. Now, as you're dropping down, round your back and you're going to feel a weight in the tailbone. Now slowly move your head, move and sway side to side and go with me. So you're going to sway one side, slowly build it up. And are you staying relaxed? Stay relaxed. Other side, up you go and up and up. Now, if you have a lot of shoulder pain, you might be having trouble getting your arms up. Uh, minor version of frozen shoulder. And if you can't get your arms up, not to worry. Just keep working at the height you can, stay relaxed, and very slowly you'll get those arms up. So relax your fingers and wiggle them around. Now you're gonna make a contraction, tighten up your hands, relax, relax your shoulders, breathe in and bend your elbows. Pull those elbows behind you, right back. Now keep sweeping them around and you're going to touch your thighs. Bend your knees, tuck your tailbone under. Now you're going to lift up those shoulders as high as you can and tuck your tailbone under more. Pull those elbows behind you and twist the hands. Now stay relaxed and pull those arms in front of you. We can do this with a lot of tension, but because we're working, breathing in to help relieve shoulder pain we're staying relaxed okay now you're going to aim your hands right at me directly at me so don't move your arms and you're going to lift one side of your ribs lift one shoulder and the other just shift side to side keeping the hands going straight towards me you're going to feel your rib cage so the rib cage is part of your upper body and all the muscles in your rib cage and shoulders are part of why you might be suffering from shoulder pain so just gently breathe in, slowly breathe out, and shift side to side. Now you're gonna take your fingers and pull them in towards your body. Bend a little more, lift those shoulders up, and you're gonna to try to pull the hands apart, so like that. And that's called a shoulder blast. Doesn't that feel good? It should feel great in the shoulder blades. Now you're gonna drop one elbow and lift the other one and just massage around. So imagine you're giving those shoulder blades a nice self-massage. And the massage is relaxed, so stay relaxed. So just move around gently. Press those arms forward. Breathe in and lift your arms up. Relaxed, stay relaxed. So you're gonna stay up there. We're gonna repeat it all over again. Make a fist, tighten everything up. Relax. Now relax more. The human body is designed to self-heal but you have to know how to make it self-heal. And we're not supposed to be in pain, but you have to know how to get rid of that pain. And by working too hard, you're going to get yourself in pain. And by not working enough, you're gonna be in pain. So it's kind of like Goldilocks, it's gotta be just right. So stay relaxed, but keep moving. Tuck under, lift the shoulders, sweep around, twist those arms, pull forward, you're gonna take the hands, reach towards me, straight at me, and then lock them in that spot and move your ribs. So we're gonna do this again eight times. Three, breathing with it, rounding your back, 
and just double check where your tailbone is. Make sure it's tucked under. And that's seven and eight. Take your fingers, pull them in, lift the shoulders up. You're gonna pull apart, pull it apart and relax. Now keep your hands close to your body and now get that lovely massage in the shoulder blades. So using your elbows, you're just sliding those shoulder blades around in your back, getting those lovely fluids loosening up all the bones in your back, your shoulder blades should feel great. Stretch it out, lift them up and open them out. Now we're gonna work on just one shoulder. So you're gonna lift it up and lower it. Breathe in, exhale when you go down. Now you're gonna take your arm <coughs> bent. See so what your bent arm, and you're gonna to try to touch your shoulder blade. Now you're gonna follow around and you're gonna take your arm, you're gonna follow around your head and touch your neck and behind you and bring that elbow down to your waist. Lift up the elbow, but keeping the arm bent. You're gonna follow around your neck Touch your neck behind you, pull the elbow behind you, and drop. So this is your third time around. And stay really relaxed. The more relaxed you are, the faster you'll get out of pain. And the faster you're going to increase the range of motion in your shoulder joint. So now lift the hand towards the ceiling, and you're gonna twist the hand, and you're gonna twist it and twist it and keep twisting it until it forces your body to drop. Then you're gonna relax and sweep it around, lift it up and pull it behind you. So we're gonna repeat that three times. Take your hand, you're gonna twist it, twist it, twist it. And as you keep twisting it, the shoulders are gonna drop around your tailbone, sweep across and lift up to the ceiling. Breathe in and pull it behind you. And each time you're gonna notice that you can turn more, you can twist more. Everything should feel really good. So twist, twist, twist. If you're in any pain, like a knife type pain, then stop because knife type pain is a warning that your body can't handle whatever you're doing to it. <sighs> Pull behind you. Now we're gonna do that whole thing to the other side. So you're gonna bend your elbow, you're gonna follow around your neck to the other side. If it's just exhausting, we'll keep doing it. It's the knife pain that we're trying to avoid. So these are great for frozen shoulder, but these are great for getting rid of shoulder pain. Stay relaxed, drop that elbow down. So we're working the elbow. The elbow works the shoulder. So this is all to liberate tight shoulders. And when your body has no mobility, it starts to hurt. So that's why mobility is so important for pain relief. So you're gonna twist that hand, keep twisting it, twist it, twist it more, keeping it behind you. And it's going to drop your shoulders down and force your back to round. And you're gonna relax as you sweep in front and it should feel in your ribs. Breathe in as you go up and make sure you straighten up completely before you twist behind you. So mobility if you have mobility, you're gonna notice that you won't have pain. So you, but stay relaxed, twist, 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 twist until you can't round your back any further. Sweep around and lift up. Straighten up your spine completely. Pull that arm behind you and we're gonna do it once more. So twist, twist, twist. People don't understand pain properly. We should not be in pain. The, the body should be pain-free, no matter what age you are. Up you go. You're only, you should only be in pain because of injuries and diseases and burns. Okay, now you're gonna take your hand, but we shouldn't be in pain otherwise. And we accept pain. But pain is so unnecessary when you understand how not to have it, and mobility is the secret of pain relief. Okay, so take your wrist, and you're going to pull that hand away from you. So it's as though you're pulling the shoulder out of the socket. But you know, you're not gonna actually do that, but you're pulling that way. Tucking under, pull away. Now you're gonna drop that arm down. Circle the whole arm around. 
up and over. Change arms. Lift your shoulder, lift the elbow, grab the wrist, and then pull the wrist away. Shift your weight to pull it even more, and you're gonna drop down, staying relaxed, pull behind you, and over. We're gonna do that again to the other side, but a little higher. So grab that wrist, pull the arm, shift your weight back so you stretch it, so you're pulling yourself apart. <sighs> Breathe out, relax. Big circle around and over your head. And one more time, the other side. You're gonna grab the wrist, you're gonna pull the wrist, shift your weight away, drop down, shift around, and over you go. That should feel really, really good. Now you're gonna take both your arms. So one arm, tuck your tailbone under. The other, take your shoulders, bend again so your, your spine is rounded. Now lift up your shoulders and pull the elbows towards me. Now you're gonna move around, elbows up, tucking your tailbone under the whole time and pull. You should be feeling this in the shoulders, the shoulder blades, and the upper body, the rib cage. Move around and move around. Now you're going to stretch out one arm. You're going to take the other arm and you're going to pull the one arm back and then very gently do a little resistance, not with a lot of force. Other arm, pull this arm back and you're going to just gently do a resistance. And when you do this, the resistance you're going to feel in the shoulder blade area. Okay, start again. Take one shoulder, take the other shoulder and move around, tucking your tailbone under. So the secret to these exercises is that we're stretching and rebalancing all the muscles of the core, actually of the body. If you're bending your knees properly, you're working all 620 muscles of your body. Okay, you're gonna do one more side. Stretch out your arm, take the other arm, gently pull it back, and then a nice little bit of resistance. So shoulder, the shoulder is up, and you'll feel this in the shoulder blade. And that little bit of resistance is going to help to strengthen the, the, the flexibility in your lower back, upper back. Okay, drop down and lift those arms up. Now we're going to imagine that you're going to grab a weed in the ground, and you're very gently going to pull it up, not with a lot of force. Straighten your body right up, and pull that elbow back. So this is to give you full range of motion right through this shoulder joint, right down your front and your back. So it's um, a range of motion going through what's called muscle chains. So it's the front of your body and the back chain of your body. So you grab the weed, round your back, pull up. Make sure that when you pull up, you central uh, make your center of your spine straight and drop behind you. And last one, grab a weed, roll up one vertebra at a time, finish centered, pull that elbow behind you, and you are probably notice that you've got a greater range of motion already. And the irony is that the more relaxed you are, the more mobility you're going to get. Okay, so in People think they have to work so hard, and that's not true, not at all. And because you're gaining mobility, your body is automatically getting stronger. So people don't understand that strength isn't necessarily about forcing. It can be quite easy and relaxed to gain strength. And one more time. So this little workout is a wonderful workout to do every day if you're suffering from any kind of neck or shoulder pain. So it should help it go away very rapidly.